And I was like, what do you mean? What's the point? Hey friends, welcome or welcome back. <laughs> I saw so I've seen a, a few other YouTubers like do that and I kind of I kind of like it so I'm gonna do it too yeah so oh, welcome to my channel or welcome back yay happy you're here genuinely thank you um today we are gonna talk about like my my absolute favorite 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 thing and that is hope oh, watch 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 And I, I love it. I usually, like, I wouldn't talk about hope because I just, I assume that everyone has it and that's what's keeping people alive, like, because that's literally the only thing that's keeping me alive is hope. Um, but I was at a discussion with one of my friends and I was just talking about hope, excuse me, and how, like, amazing it is, right? Um and it's kind of how necessary it is and they were like I don't get it, what's the point? and I was like what do you mean, what's the point? I mean I didn't ask them that but like in my mind I was like what do you mean, what is the point of hope? <laughs> like, help me understand but then I realized he's probably not the only person that has ever had that thought or had that question or has wondered that, right? Um, and then I think back to myself and I think back to before hope became such a powerful tool in my life. Like, I didn't understand what the hoopla was either, right? Um, and so that's what we're here to talk about today. Hope. Alright, so... <clears throat> first of all, I want to say hope is a verb. It's a verb. It's something you do. It's not something that ha just like love, right? We talked about love before. Love is a verb. Well, hope is a verb. And I think that's that's something that is missed. Is easily missed because we think hope and we're like, "Oh, I hope this happens." And then nothing happens, right? So I that's that to me is not hope. That's a half a hope. It's like a part of hope, but hope as a whole is a verb. It is something that you actively do. And the great thing about hope is that it's kind of like, um, I like the analogy of fuel. It's like fuel, you put in gas in your car, right? Without the gas, your car wouldn't go. Without your car, you wouldn't need the gas. So hope is the gas for your car. Hope is the gas for your life. You need hope to live, to make a difference, to make a change, to make it through the really tough, tough, tough times. You need hope that you'll get out of those situations, that those situations will be gone, right? Um, eventually, but you have to work at it for the most part. Um, and I, I'm saying for the most part, and I keep looking around and thinking because there are so many situations where no matter how hard you hope, the bad thing is gonna happen, right? The bad thing is going to happen. No matter how hard you hope or what you do with your hope, the bad thing is going to happen. But the good news about that is that you weren't sitting in despair that entire time, right? Like, let's say a loved one has a year left to live, but you are hoping and hoping and praying and hoping and trying all of these things with that loved one so that way you can extend that year out. But unfortunately, at the end of that year, that loved one dies, right? But because you spent that whole year hoping for something greater, living for something greater, you, you spent that year with joy, if you will. Like, like, like with, with a little bit of joy, with a little bit of, of happiness, because you thought that maybe something different could happen. But if you had not had that little, that little piece of hope, you would have spent that year in despair. You would have spent that year in gloom. You would have spent that year not living, but instead waiting for death. Um, and there's a humongous difference there. Humongous difference. And so that's what I mean by hope. And that is why hope is so important. Because it gives you the energy and the drive to live. It gives you joy. It kind of gives you peace a little bit sometimes. Um, and it just, it keeps you from falling into despair. 
into sadness, into 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 the dark. Right, and, the, and that's not to say that the dark won't be there if you have hope. Of course, that's life, but it keeps hope keeps you from really falling in that hole and staying in that hole. With hope, you can at least get out of that dark hole. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so, um, today, because this is Reading with Sky, I am going to read, and we're going to read one of my friends that I found three years ago. I think I found them in 2017. Um, I found them either through On Being or through <laughs> Brain Pickings, because those are my two most absolute favorite places to get information um, that opens m my mind and feeds my soul. And so my friend today, his name is Padre Gotuma, and he actually, when I first got this book and learned about him, he did not work with On Being, but now he works with On Being, uh, and it's amazing. And he has his own poetry uh, corner, and it's beautiful. Okay, so today he is going to help us say hello to Hope. Um, and uh, he just, he does such a beautiful job. He has such a way with words, okay? It's amazing, and he does a beautiful job explaining things. Um, but just uh, describing things. He has this beautiful, it's just beautiful way of speaking that I love. And I love it. Okay, so this is um, In the Shelter by Padre Gotuma. It will change your life. Let it. Okay, let it. Um, so this is about hope. Okay. Hope is the thing with feathers, Emily Dickinson wrote. Recently, a friend of mine was talking about visiting a relative in prison. What do I do? My friend said. I want to help him hope, but I don't want him to break his heart hoping for things that will never come true. The conversation got me wondering. What is the purpose of hope? I understand that hope can break you. To hope for something that might never come true may be a difficult thing. So, is hope a waste? Adam Phillips says that hope is only ever disproven in retrospect, so that to dash hope in the moment of hoping is to have allowed a catastrophe that hasn't yet happened to already have effect. So, no, hope is not a waste. Hope is a sung, song sung when everything else says you shouldn't be singing. Hope is joy. Hope is a testimony that says, even if it doesn't come true, I will live like it might. Hope is what helps us survive. Hope is little light. Hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without the words and never stops at all. And sweetest in the gale is heard and sore must be the storm that could abash the little bird that kept so many warm. So if you're struggling now to find the reason to live or to find why you should keep going or why you should hope or why hope is even important, just remember <laughs> that hope is the thing with wings. Hope is the thing with feathers. Hope is the thing that keeps you warm in the cold. I have a sweet potato pie cooking, but I'm going to finish this before I go get it. Hope is the thing, is the, is the little flash of light in the darkness. Hope is that sweater, the one sweater you have on a winter night, right? Because you could be without a sweater, and you could be freezing, but you have a sweater. And then you could be without a light, and you could be in pitch blackness, but you have a light, so you can at least see a little bit. So I keep speaking in analogies, but I just hope that 
it makes it easy. <laughs> I hope that it makes it easier to understand that hope has a purpose. And the purpose of hope is to keep you going. The purpose of hope is to bring you joy. The purpose of hope is to give you life and death. Life in something that probably wouldn't survive. So um, I'm going to go get my sweet potato pie and I hope that this hope, <laughs> that this helps you. Okay. Bye.